Hey guys, I'm back. So, um, today I'm going to be explaining sort of why this happens. And where if you drop it outside the copper pipe, you notice it hits the ground really fast, right? It's going to take, you know, one, so I can't even say one Mississippi. Now if I put it through the pipe, one Mississippi, two, so that's two whole seconds compared to less than one, right? Let's see if I can illustrate this a little bit better on camera. So anyway, um, if you'll notice, it's not because the copper is magnetic, you know? It's not sticking, you know? If I leave it there, it just falls. Not magnetic at all. Um, just lost my magnets. Well, anyways. Well, I'm looking for the magnets, which are under the table for some reason. Um, you, the, the reason this works is because of uh, Lenz's law and eddy currents. So, um, the reason this works is because when the magnet falls, you know, is falling through the copper pipe, right? Like that. You know? When it's falling really slowly like that, it creates a magnetic current, right? The, there's a magnetic current looping around like this. So, you know, coming out the bottom, going to the top. Okay? And so, um, and actu actually, yeah, it's coming out the bottom and it's going into the top. So out the bottom to the top, right? When it falls through the copper pipe, it creates an eddy current that's going around this. So the eddy current would then be circulating vertical, like, um, whereas, like, yeah, it's hard to explain, let's see, um, it would be circulating through the copper, like, on this side, and the current would be going this way, so clockwise, in the copper, right? Then that current is going to create a magnetic field that will be going, um, if the magnetic field from this is going out the bottom to the top, it would be going in the direction of from the top to the bottom. I have an illustration that would illustrate that in just a sec. So anyway, the, the magnetic, the magnet essentially creates a, um, a magnetic field, an opposite magnetic field for itself when it falls through the copper pipe. Because, so you see that, you know, um, took a while. Now, if I aim this at my computer, I have here a little graphic. Sorry, HyperCam 2 is not working, but this seems fine. So this is our magnet here, and this is our copper pipe. You see the magnet is going out the bottom to the top, right? So the field is sort of pointing right here and left here. Okay? When it's pointing right through the copper, the, field, the electrical current is coming towards you at the bottom and away from you on the top, which creates a current that's going inside the loop here, left and outside the loop right and since inside the loop this is going right it, it pushes against it so it's going to hold the f so since it's resisting it here it's going to actually hold the magnetic field inside the loop up here because it's being pushed inside the loop you know there'd actually be you know currents all around this loop so it's being held inside this little electrical current loop here and on the bottom it's the same thing is happening it's also being held in this loop so it's being pushed up and held up which really um the, the only the reason it falls is because of gravity because they just sit there so you know that's how it works is it creates these uh, secondary uh, these electrical fields going like this and the magnetic fields going opposite to the magnetic fields of the magnet and um, as you saw copper is not magnetic so um, yeah that's everything um, you know so um, do it one more time So, do it for yourself. You just need, you know, magnets, right? The more the better. I have like, you know, four here. I have a fifth one, but then it, you know, and you see. It takes, a, it takes a while. Anyway, I have a fifth one, and you'll see that the more powerful your magnets, here's, here's another one. This time, though, it can get stuck in the tube, but anyway, it's a lot more powerful like this, so. It got stuck at the bottom. Anyways. You can just flip it over, get stuck,
So, you know. I hope I helped you to, you know, understand why the, um, the magnets fall slowly. And this is the same f function that will shoot, uh, twisted impulse coasters and break, um, strata coasters like Top Thrill Dragster or King to Ka. Um, except the permanent magnets are on the train and the copper pipe is like these uh, little plates that come up from the track. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's, that's everything. So thanks for watching. Bye.